Well, hello, good morning everybody. It's Saturday, it's Ron Howard from Extreme Sequences and I wanted to do a quick video on demystifying the F-48 and channels and banks and rows and ducks and just everything you could imagine that might be somewhat confusing about sending the amount of outputs per port for this particular controller. And hopefully this will simplify it. I'm going to be extreme in my simplification. And that sounds like an oxymoron, but stay with me. Um, I have a live controller that I'm going to, that I have sent this to, and we'll send some other information to it so we can see some comparisons. But just know that the Falcon F48 is a controller capable of driving 1,024 nodes per output. That's a maximum of 96 universes with it being 512 channels per universe. That is the maximum allowable number of channels in any given DMX universe in our world. Not the outer world, just our world. Okay, so let's take a look at what I've done here. I have created 16 mega trees. Each one of these is 1000 nodes. It's using one string with 50 strands. That means one output is going to drive all 1,000. And yeah, you might consider power injecting this puppy. But for exampling, or for an example of this, I, I think this will drive the point home. Uh, I have these just following each other. So tree two follows tree one, tree three follows tree two, and so on and so on and so on. I have set this up for 510 channels per universe. We like using this because 510 is divisible by 3 so that we know 170 nodes fits in a universe and the maximum number of universes you can send to any of the controllers whether it's a Falcon F48 or F16 V3 or whatever is really 96 universes. Okay that also goes for an F16 with expansion and if you were to put two expansions no matter what uh, you're only going to get 96 universes on that controller. And the controller is uh, defined as the sum of all of its units, which means controller, expansion, expansion. That's the controller. So let's take a look at this. See here that I sent this over to an F48 and it sent over all 96 universes. Or actually, it sent over 90. I'm only using 90, but I could send 96. And that's fine. Perfect. So then we go over here, we look at this, and I tell each one of these mega trees to be a different port. Port 1, port 2, port 3, port 4, port 5, port 6, port 7, all the way to 16. Now, when this sends over, what does that leave left for bank 2 and 3? Because on an F48, bank 1 is the first four outputs, the top row, the little black thingies, where the cable fits in, that feeds a receiver. That's output one through four. The second one is five through eight, and so on and so on until you end up with 16. Okay, so this is what it will look like after it sends over to the controller. Output settings, strings, boom, 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 boom. boom. Ah, there we go, there we go. And here are 16. You see that there are a thousand pixels per. It tells me tree 1 through 16. There are no issues. I have this at 40%, which I would never, ever do. 20% uh, works just fine. And you can see here how it set the slider. Now, pay particular attention to this. Because on bank 1, or you can call it bank ABC, whatever you like, the top row is using 1,000 pixels per output. So it's telling you, well, guess what? You get <laughs> one pixel per output on, uh, on the second row, and you get 23 pixels per output on the last one. Unless you say, I'd like to change that. You start sliding these, this dial back, and you see things start turning red. No, that's a no-go there. No-go, no, 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 it's gotta get up to 1,000. Nope, gotta keep going. And when you get far enough, you can just kinda hit the arrow key. And do these individually and watch what happens when we get to the magical number 1,000. Suddenly it tells us what we have allotted and left for on the second and third bank. And that's it. You can't squeeze any more out of this. You can't put an expansion on a F48. It is what it is. So let's go back. Let's go back.
let's change this up. I'm going to change the counts on each of these trees. And I won't make you watch this because it'll take me a minute or two just to change these. But I'll pause this for a second. And we'll change this from a thousand nodes, I don't know, to 800 nodes. And then we'll take a look at the slider. So I'll be right back. 800 save 800 save aren't you glad I spared you the first trees 800 save 800 save okay I made all these 800 nodes right so I'll go to my setup I will tell this right click upload to controller output to the Falcon F48 V3 Hopefully we get no errors. I don't see any errors. That's a good sign. We will refresh the screen and now we should see a different story with what's available. Now, now, with a less dense tree using all of the first 16 outputs, we can give more node outputs elsewhere. In fact, we can also decide for that middle bank, the second set of rows we could go up to well we got to keep that we got to keep that at 800 keep this to 800 i'll arrow this down we could do 223 nodes per output on the second one and one on the last and then we could continue to try to balance this a little bit you gotta be careful remember that's 800 so then 223 then one so it's a balancing act. You cannot exceed 1,024 nodes per output per bank. And bank is defined as top row, second row, third row, and F48. Okay? The whole point of this really is, and hopefully I did a decent enough job here to help you understand that you only are allotted so many per output, whether you're power injecting or not, don't care about that, how much or how many pixels is the board capable of pushing out of any port and keep keep in mind the F48 feeds receivers. So those ports are on the receivers. It's still one through four, five through eight, nine through so on and so on, all the way to 16. How many pixels can you maximize out of each of, each of those ports? And I'm also of the mindset, it's not about maxing out how many pixels you can get on a port. That's not the name of this. It's This is just to help clarify what it's capable of doing. Um, I don't even think it's possible to send, and I tried earlier to max this out at 1,024 on the first 16, because what this did was this got to the end over here, and it wouldn't it wouldn't change. Uh, it would allow 1,022, and that's because it's going to leave one pixel for the middle bank and one pixel for the last bank. I guess that makes sense. So have yourself a pixel packing day. And let me know if you have any questions. I hope this was informative. You take care.